guys. Okay, so today <clears throat> I'm going to be um, experimenting with these colors. Um, I want to um, do different ones for my daughter's teachers on these little 5 by 5s with her handprint. They're going to be her teacher's gifts. So I'm trying to think about uh, colors and trying to pre-mix for Dahlia. Uh, to, to do this for her teachers. So I'm going to try this out first on this um, and see how that goes in either a flip cup or a dirty pour. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, now I am second guessing myself and wondering if I, you know what, I have another one. Okay. I'm not going to do the green geode. I'm going to do these colors. I'm committing to the colors. It's hard to commit sometimes. Okay, so I have my silicone in a little bottle. I use CRC that I get from Walmart. And you can also just spray this into your cups uh, in between pours if you want. I like to do that too. Um, and all of my paints are... This is the burnt umber with a little bit of the metallic brown. <clears throat> this is the uh, Nicole's Craft Paint Gold mixed in with a little bit of the Liquitex Basics Yellow. Uh, and I use the one that is semi-transparent. So it says translucent and it's primary yellow. And the Liquitex White, titanium white and the Liquitex Basics purple. So I wasn't going to, but I think I might mix in some transparent purple. You know what? I'm going to stick to the white. All right. So here, here we go. I'm going to put a few drops. Ah, it would be good if this was open. Looks like I have to cut this open I guess. It's new. I got it from the dollar store. Alright, so let me cut this open and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, oh, okay, that's a lot more than I planned on putting in the white, but I do have a lot of white here. So, let me put it in. I'm, this is the one that I wanted to try doing negative space. So, I'm going to get it in and then maybe I'll spray a little bit on top. Um, okay. And the brown. One, two, three. And the brown. So I really like this vinyl tablecloth cover because I can just pick my sticks up really easily after. As you can see, I've tried to use boxes. This is my coffee table in our pergola. Um, okay, this is good. And in the gold. And mix that up. And in the yellow. I need to get a better dropper. I don't have a very good dropper. So I'm going to try and be careful uh, when I do this pour because I really want it. I really want to see some lacing. I would love to see that. And let's see what order I'm going to put this in. White, of course, will go first. So here's the cup. Let's see if I can get you in more. Okay, so we'll start. You know what? We'll do this because I read something about someone in the message book said to put on the bottom. So I'll put some white on the bottom. It is the heaviest, um, so it will sink to the bottom. Um, and then 
I'm going to put some of this purple and I'm worried this is too thick now. Yeah, it is. So let me thin it up a little bit. Drop a pouring medium just in case and some water. I love when the pouring medium goes in the paint. It just looks so pretty, all the swirls. So let me mix this up. I mixed this a few hours ago. And then I just covered them up with these great covers that I got at the discount store and no bugs. So no bugs in anyone's painting. Still a little thick. I'm going to put a little more water. Not sure why I just put PVA. Someone can tell me if you think I shouldn't have done that. But I definitely need a better dropper. And I, I kind of want this paint to be thin. I don't want it to overtake the painting, but maybe some of you find that if you leave it a little thicker, it, it uh, doesn't. It, separate, it stays separated better, but this is a good pouring consistency. So let me pour around. And I should have put my gloves on. <clears throat> Onto my jeans it goes. And what's really great is that sometimes it'll dry like this on your cup, which is fun. And my daughter was peeling some skins off of the off of the plus uh, uh, the paper box here and that's a really great thing to do with your kids after all right so I have white and purple I'm gonna do a little of the metallic brown I'm trying to kind of layer it so that's why I'm doing it low and then I'm gonna do a little more white from a pie see if I can get it to go through or do something cool. It might end up being pink and I might hate it, so we'll see. I'm going to put a splash of yellow. And a little bit more white. I have to save some white for my negative space, but I guess I could always mix it up again. And then some more purple. Really want to layer it, but I don't want it to go brown. So that's my worry that it's going to go brown. And some gold. And some more brown. Maybe I can get a nice outline and some white. I've never done colors like these before. I like these colors and I've seen a lot of other people's um, paintings use some of these colors, but I haven't used them. Go for my pie. And down low. And that's pretty. It's really pretty looking. Let me put some more white. And hopefully I will have enough to still pour over the painting. Um, I love it when I get cells in here. And I might have to mix up a little bit more white. Let me see if I can layer it over this. Create like a layer. And I will mix up some more white. Let me put 
splash of brown. And layer some gold. And layer some purple. Okay. Trying to keep paper towels now close by in case I need them. Um, okay, so this cup looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to need to give it a swirl. And there's enough paint. So let me see. Should I do a pour? Or should I do a pour? Or yellow. Should I do a pour or should I do a flip? I don't know what to do. So I understand a lot of these other YouTubers when you guys also are not sure. Let me get my paints out of the way and mostly covered. Uh, and let me see. Maybe I'll just do a pour. Um, my first ever real pour uh, where it's not a flip cup and then I don't have to do the negative space but all right let's see let's see what happens let me give it a swirl I like what I'm seeing Ooh, I like some of these oranges look at that stick that's a great stick. All right, so, okay, what should we do? What should we do? Should we do a flip? Should I do a pour? I don't want it to get muddy. So I think I might just do, if I do a pour, I have to do it on the other side. So you guys can see. All right. Here we go. Ooh, I really like the top. Let's see if I can stretch that down. And I really love the striations. That's why I was doing layers. I was trying to get that striated look, almost like a geode. Oh, I love that. Okay. And let me go down here. This is interesting. I've never quite had a pour like this. Let me see. Stretch it back out like that. Let's see. Maybe I can add a little paint to it. And some white. So much for negative space. That's what happens when you see pretty things happening in your cup. Just like, eh, forget it. I'll just, I'll just do a pour. And maybe some gold. And I probably should have put on gloves, but I didn't. Right, let me see if I can help this. Let me just kind of swirl this. it would be too much paint. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. Let's 
try and get some of that magenta. I forgot to tape on my knee. This is very cool. I really like to kind of pull it down, pull the paint down. And unfortunately, the magenta is all gone. Let me see if I can stretch this out. Stretch out some. Go down some. Okay. Oh, I like that. Push it back. And I love it. Okay. Let me get the size on the bottom. And of course, not wearing gloves. That's always fun. But my mom gave me this fancy schmancy new painting shirt with the coffee cups all over it. So, I do have coffee with Emily, so. I kind of wish, maybe when I torch it, it'll take on a life of its own. I should get my palette knife. And I like how easy it is to pick up on this, ta this tablecloth. It's really great. And part of my favorite part is being able to, to complete the sides. It's really one of my favorite things to do because I love to pull it down. I love to manually stretch it down and get the pattern to stretch down. Sometimes it even produces cells, like just now, I wish you could see that. It looks like there's like a geode on the side here. It's kind of crazy. Well, my daughter is going to love this one because it's pink. And let's see what drippings do I have over here? Oh, I have magenta here. this on a little bit. And then have more of a magenta corner here. And take these shish kebab skewers and get it in into the painting. And that's it. Let me get the torch and make sure it's not moving without me wanting it to move. And wipe my hands and we'll check it out the torch. Okay, some of these drippings are going to be amazing. I can't wait to, part of the, I, I love every step of this process. All right, I'm just gonna hold this up from that pie. See if I can get any kind of lacing going. I'm not sure why. I mean, I get cells, but they're really tiny. Once I stretch out the paint, I don't really get cells. I mean, the cells are coming, but it, it always works better when I first pour. So, not sure what I'm doing. I'd love to choose where the big cells develop, you know? And there's really beautiful cell action happening. 
but it's just not what I want. I want those, you know, that lacing, those really beautiful, those really beautiful ones like Emory Getz and um, Danny Clark. Oh my gosh. So I will keep working on it. But as you can see, the Artist Loft Gloss Medium worked pretty well, and this painting is kind of I'm actually liking it, even though I don't usually like these colors. And I'm torching the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of let the cells de develop a little more and torch around it. I know I'm so used to getting really close because I am a jewelry designer and we do it closer up. Emery, I know she like sticks her hand under it, but um, this is, it's pretty. I don't, it's not my favorite, but, and the cells are definitely not like the pros. I can't pick and choose exactly where I want. Oh no. We got a, we got a bug in here. Let's help him out. Okay. Maybe I can stretch it a little bit more. undecided. Maybe I'll get some star cells like I've been seeing on some of the Facebook groups. Well, those are smaller. I didn't want that to happen. I like that they look like geodes with the striation. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to know when to stop. Let me tilt down towards this corner. Let's see what happens then. But yeah, it's nice to be able to play with it until you're happy with the composition. And it gives them some time to move. So this was a good test for this fun. I still don't have gloves on. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get you down to look at it. There's some, there's some really cool spots, so. So we've got this happening. Let me see if I can switch the camera around. I don't know if you can do that while you're filming. Okay. But it has some really pretty pieces. Not sure if I love it. My daughter might love it. And on to the next try. Hopefully I can get some better lacing next time, but it's it's pretty, it's just it's small. And this is an 11 by 14 inch uh, canvas. Kind of looks like geodes. I like this part. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Till next time, paint on.